Good morning, Chicago. A new dawn breaks on the citywide hunt for Nighthawks, Edward Hopper's most famous painting, stolen from the Art Institute. Despite the museum's state-of-the-art security system, the thief left no trace. Uh, are we ABC sure this is the real one? Be a hell of a coincidence. I don't get it. It's two guys and a girl, like, buying coffee. What's the big deal? It was supposed to be romantic. I guess I kind of see it. What? They look miserable, but at least they're miserable together. I think it's rudimentary. Three people at a diner? Give me some paper. I'll draw it. Yeah, I kind of doubt that, Picasso. It's just another mediocre artist who's only famous because he's white. All right, look, well, we got to get rid of it, right? I mean, if the cops find it here, we're all doing time. Uh, yo, coffee? Yeah, top the washer. Hey, when are you going to fix the hot water? I froze my tits off in the shower this morning. Got the gas company coming sometime today. Hey, or you can get your tools out. You can fix it. No, thanks. Not helping you sell the house we grew up in. Jesus Christ, Debs, this again? Yes, this again. I was supposed to be working today, making money to feed my child, but instead, Franny and I have to go look for a new place to live, hopefully somewhere with no lead pain or mass shootings. Hey, Debs, you still covering the afternoon shift? Yeah. What shift? The alibi. Kevin V are in Louisville helping B's mom settle in, so make an eye opening. No, no, no one's going anywhere until we get rid of this thing, all right? It's not my problem now, now that you're the one making decisions. Come on, Franny. You could burn it. Burn a piece of art history worth, what, millions of dollars? Wait, millions? Shit. That's a Section 668 federal offense. Theft of major artwork? Ten years each. I know a guy moved some dinosaur bones that fell off a field museum truck a few years back. Want me to see if you can find a buyer? No, there's not a fence in the world that could move this. I mean, it would be like trying to sell the Mona Lisa. Let's just put it in an alley by the Art Institute, calling a tip. Frank's prints are going to be all over it. I mean, how do you get prints off canvas? Carpet cleaner? We even have carpet cleaner? Holy shit. Is that the original? How the hell did it get here? Good question, Frank. Did Jelly... They fucked me. You stole it. It was T's, wasn't it? What did he say? Why did he bring it here? T's is dead. What? You told me yesterday. But you, you don't remember anything about this, Frank? Um, Why would he lie? Because he's Frank. The doctor said there would be good days and bad. What doctor? Or he's a lying sack of shit who never takes responsibility for any of the crap he does. You can't talk to me like that. I'm still your father. He can't help it, Ian. Don't talk about me like I'm not here. I know a guy. What are you doing? Frank, 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 Frank. Know put it guy. down, put it down, sit down. You don't know a guy. Okay. What are we gonna do? He's gonna say we should hand it over to the Popo. I don't know. They'll kick me off the force and lock the rest of you up. Just give me the day. I'll scope things out. Well, somebody gotta watch Frank. We can't. We're opening the alibi. We can take him with us. I can't take him to the alibi. He'll tell everybody he stole it, then we're all fucked. I'm not gonna tell people I stole it. Look, we gotta keep him close. All right, Liam? I got an errand. Yeah, well, I gotta deal with the remodel. I got the gas company guy coming. I gotta watch Fred. I can't deal with Frank. Cuff him with a radiator. Fuck off. Gas company guy might think that's a little weird, no? Just lock him in the basement. That's what it used to do to us. I mean, he left me there for three days when I was six. I'll take him. Frank, you want to run an errand? What kind of an errand? Just come on. Don't forget your jacket. You gotta go to Red. Catch you later. Sorry. Keep it safe till tonight. Great. Thank you.